Salutations readers, welcome to, welcome back to the Sacred Writer channel. My name is Nkechi, and today I'm going to do a weekend kind of Minnesota winter diary. I know, I feel like just making another Blackathon related video, and this is what I got. So I'm thinking I'm just doing it for the weekend, honestly, so today is Thursday afternoon. As far as what I hope to read, I mean, I did finish, I uh, not finish, I did start reading That Time I Got Drunk and Saved a Human by Kimberly Lemming. It's the third book in the Mead Mishap series. So I'm going to, I literally started that, I think, yesterday because I finished the second book yesterday. So I started the third book since the, I just got the uh, ebooks pretty close to each other. But I started it. I'm definitely liking it. I'm definitely enjoying my time with it. I'm s I also started reading The Reformatory by Tana Reeve Do via audio for the for Jesse's Patreon buddy read. So there's that. I am definitely having a I do prefer it via audio, but like it isn't it a heavy read. So I am just gonna take my time with it. I don't know if I'll finish it this month, but I still got it. I have a lot of things I'm borrowing from my library physically and audibly, so I don't know if I'll get through those or what. So I'm not really gonna talk too much about those ones unless I really actively start reading them. But really, I think this video will be more of a focus on, like, that time I got drunk and saved a human, and possibly the reformatory. So, yeah, but right now I'm in a mood to read on my Kindle, so that's what I'm going to be doing. And watch some YouTube, because that's what I feel like doing. So, yeah, I'm just going to update y'all when I have something to... I have some essential reading thoughts. Politicians, everyone. I'm just doing it a whole different kind of angle today. So, yeah. Still need to get a handheld tripod, but you know what? This is what we're doing. This is what we're working with. Anyways, it is Friday evening, and I have updates. So, first up, I did finish my read of That Time I Got Drunk and Saved a Human by Kimberly Lemming, the third and final book in the Maid Mishap series. I have to say, I did thoroughly enjoy this one, just as much as the first book. Definitely an improvement from the second one. I really liked following along with our characters here. I just think this one was just really, really, really good. Like, it definitely reminded me of, like, the first book. But then again, though, to be fair, in the third and final book here, we are following Cherry, who is the sister of Cinnamon from the first book. So, I mean, I guess they're, they're not that similar in personality. They're definitely like, you know, they have some similar personality traits, but like, Cherry is definitely unique from Cin Cinnamon that it made it really easy for me to like, really, really like her. But it's also just so endearing just to see Dante, just like this older dragon demon trying to win her affections and stuff. And it's just, it was just so endearing. Like how he's just really just kind of messing up all over the place. I'm just like, oh my gosh, Dante. Like, sometimes I'm like, bro, why did you go this route? But then it, it just, it, it ends up working out for him, all right? And I definitely really did like the the pacing of the romance. So, yeah, I think that the, the romance here was definitely a better setup for me, and I really did appreciate it. Although I do think y'all need to know that, honestly, despite the title being saying, I, that time I got drunk, it really should be saying, that time I got drugged. You gotta read the, the book to really know what I'm talking about here, but... If you've read it, I think you know that I'm like, it really should be that. Just saying. So as far as kind of worrying, it's definitely graphic violence, explicit sexual content, kidnapping, drug use. But anyways, I really enjoyed my time with this one. I'm giving it a solid four stars. Really, really fun. I definitely recommend the series, even though I definitely did not enjoy the, se the second book in that series. But I do recommend the entire series. If you just want like a fun, lighthearted fantasy romance series written by a black author f f uh, following black female leads 
and their uh, love interests, then I definitely recommend this series and I definitely recommend this book for sure. But then before I finish this one, I did, I have been starting to read the second book here, but I haven't, I haven't really been that much interested in it. So I'm officially DNF A River of Royal Blood by Amanda Joy, I think. It's the first book in a duology. I don't know. It's a young adult fantasy. We're following like this girl who is a uh, one of two heirs in this queendom, but she has to go up against her sister, who seems more viable for this queendom than her. And because also a main girl here got some powers that she's not able to really wield, she doesn't know how to wield it. I don't know. It's giving much pretty much typical young adult fantasy for me, and I'm just not that interested i just really could not bother i probably will try again i won't write the writer off completely but like nothing was quite gripping me so yeah that's gonna be a dnf for me so that pretty much just leaves me with the reformatory as my as the only book i'm currently reading and i'm like i really don't feel in the mood to read the reformatory right now so i definitely see myself pivoting for sure but it could be ghost season, it is part of my TBR, or we could go outside of the TBR with the Jeff and Throne. I don't know yet. I don't know what I'm going to decide to do. I don't know, y'all. I don't know what I'm going to do. So yeah, honestly, my my um, options right now is ghost season and the Jasmine Throne. Yeah, but anyways, I'm just going to update y'all when I actually have decided on what I'm going to read. Okay, I actually completely forgot to show y'all this. I don't know how the heck I forgot, but I want to show y'all that I got some stationary things from the washi tape shop. Which, if you do not know, that's a online shop where you can get washi tape, stickers, a lot of, like, stationary things. So, yes, the washi tape shop does have notebooks, journals, and stuff, but they're mostly just known for their washi tape, really. It's really just their main thing, but they do have other stuff as well. So, I want to show y'all the washi tape that I got from them. I literally got it today, and I had no idea it was even going to come today. I actually thought it was going to come in, like, sometime tomorrow, or maybe it's early next week, something like, something like that. I had no idea it was going to come today, but let me just show y'all. I got only got, like, three rolls, because it's actually pretty wide, honestly. So, this is one of them for sure. So this one's like this, hold up, if I don't know if y'all can see it, it might be too bright. So this one is a, pretty much very much a floral, what's this called? Sunflower and navy. This one's a lot more spring, summer, kind of washi tape. There you go. Now y'all can really see it. See? So this one is sunflower and navy. It's very, very pretty. So there's that one. And then this one is called mushroom meadow wide pet tape which I'm not really familiar with, honestly. I've never had pet tape before. So, but one thing I do know, though, is kind of like a washi tape, but instead of it being, like, with, like, a white background, like, with washi tape or whatever background color it is, it's pretty much clear. So, as you can see here, it's um, very much floral, but also very much giving autumnal. I hope y'all can see it. I know it's a, probably just a little bit bright, but I hope y'all can see this washi tape. But now this next one here, this final one, is really, really, really wide. This is like the widest tape I've ever had. And this was called Rose Noir Wide Pet Tape. And this is gilded. Because it's, I just really, really, really wanted something like floral, but also something really dark and stuff. Probably for like a nice dark autumnal spread, or maybe something like Halloween related. And yeah, it is really, really dark really dark indeed look at that y'all it's so so pretty but yeah this is pretty much all of the washi tape and i really really like it i hope y'all so yeah i just want to show y'all this because i completely forgot to show y'all and i think this would be really, really cool and i definitely see myself using these pretty much so yeah this is pretty much actually the final final update so yeah i definitely will talk to you all i think tomorrow
Okay, salutations to everyone. I'm not sure if y'all can really hear me because I'm trying to be just a little bit quiet. Most because of the fact that I'm kind of nervous about recording outside the home. So, yeah, right now I'm in Corner Coffee, which is a coffee shop in Northeast Minneapolis. And I decided to come outside today because I wanted to try something new. And I decided to start reading The Jasmine Throne by Tasha Suri. I have made it about 32 pages into this, and I'm also reading it via audio as well, but I am mostly just going through physically because I decided to annotate it instead. And so far, I actually really, I actually do like this so far. The only thing I knew about this book is that's the first book in the Burning Kingdoms trilogy. So the first book is The Jasmine Throne, the second book is The Oleander Sword, and the third and final book, which comes out in, I think, August, at least sometime this summer, is The Lotus Empire. And I do know that this is a sap an epic sapphic fantasy series. We were following two characters, one's a pr princess and the other is a maidservant. But yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. And they start something about like bringing down an empire. So yeah, why not? Sa two sapphic characters bring down an empire. Let's go with that. And also it's part of the sapphic trifecta. And I already got it in a book haul from my previous video diary. So you can watch that for that. And yeah, I said, like, you know what, let me just start this. Especially since the third and final book in the series comes out this year, I figured why not just start reading this. And yeah, I'm definitely having a good time with it. I do like the audiobook as well. And oopsie, sorry about that. Uh, I definitely had a good time with it. I'm definitely annotating it and have a real good time. I'm still getting used to like the world and characters and stuff. I'm not totally sure where we're going with the plot. But so far, I think the characters are interesting. I definitely like the world. The world is very, very interesting. So I'm just kind of like just playing it, just going by, you know, ear and reading it. And I don't really have much else to really say, honestly. I just want to update y'all while I'm in the coffee shop. But yeah, but then after I chill here for a little bit more, though, I'm going to go to the library because apparently I have a library book that is now available for me to pick up. So I'm going to be going to the library after this, and then I'll head home. That's pretty much all I have for y'all, and yeah, I definitely will talk to you all when I get home. So yeah, we'll talk to, I'll talk to y'all then. Salutations, everyone. So finally, made it back home, and my legs are tired. Like, ah, they're sore, they're tired. But you know what that means? It just means that I need to bike more often, honestly. And I just want to kind of like further explain as to why I went to like a coffee shop and just wanted to read outside because I really was inspired by Carrie from Carrie Cakes and from Carrie Can Read here on YouTube. She had a Skillshare class that I was watching on like romanticizing your life, like first starting to like create vlogs for YouTube and stuff. And I was kind of inspired. I was like, you know what? I want to get better making vlogs and stuff. Not just like vlogs, but just like just filming in general, honestly, for YouTube. I'm so new to this. And of course, and now I have a vlogging camera. So I'm just like, whoa, how do I do that? I mean, sure, I've been watching people do it. I even try like, you know, my own vlogs, but like I'm trying to make, I'm trying to like improve upon that. I really am glad that I watched that Skillshare class. I mean, this is nothing sponsored or anything. I'm just using Skillshare and I wanted to show y'all that, you know, show y'all what I've learned from the, from uh, the Skillshare class. And I would say it was pretty informative. Most of the things I already knew, or at least I could gather from watching so many like, so much booktube contest and yeah i'm just glad and i definitely see myself just going on a solo adventure just get out of the house for several hours and yeah i don't i don't think i really have much else to say and then i'll just update y'all tomorrow salutations everyone today is sunday and the only update is that really i finally have started ghost season via audio and I think I got about 17% into it. And I think it's only like a couple chapters or breaks. I don't, they're not really chapters in the book, but it, it, it's fine. The point is, I do like it, actually. I'm, I'm glad, though, because I do know it was contemporary. So I was a little bit hesitant if I would even be interested, let alone even in the mood for it as a straight-up contemporary novel. 
But so far, I do like it. I am indeed intrigued, most because of the fact that we are following the multiple characters, just like in the synopsis, and pretty early on, we find out about the the corpse that I, I think at this point it's not identified, so we don't know who it is, but right now we're just seeing varying people, their reaction towards the corpse. And so far, I do like it. I am indeed curious to read more about it, at least. And this is going to be a lot more character-driven kind of story. It's more of a character study. I did want to look at a couple of reviews just to kind of like get a sense of the story. One of the reasons why I really don't mess with contemporary or lift fic because that a lot of them are not really like much of plot. It's a lot more of the characters and sometimes I just don't care enough about the characters, especially if they're not doing much of the plot. So not here to say that I'm a plot-driven uh, reader, but sometimes characters can carry and sometimes they just don't carry enough. And so far, there's enough of the characters for me to be at least be intrigued. So, yeah, and it's very interesting to see these varying perspectives. Again, not very much far into it to really know so, so much about it. But it's not very long, so I do see myself probably finishing that in the next couple of days. And I do want to say, though, that I am going to end this video diary here today. Because I don't really feel like bringing this on to tomorrow. So, yeah, I'm pretty much just going to end it here. I'm glad that I did start Ghost Season at least, and I do see myself finishing it before the month is over, so at least I get that book off my TBR. So yeah, but that's pretty much it. I hope y'all really like this. This is actually a true weekend vlog kind of thing, so yeah. Anyways, what did I do in this, in this video diary? I finished a book. Yeah, I finished that time I got drunk and saved a demon, four stars, DNF'd, a River of Royal Blood. I started two books. I started reading The Jasmine Throne. Only got a little bit into it. And then I started reading Ghost Season. Got a little bit into that one too. So yeah, we shall see if I finish those books this month. I'm hoping on Ghost Season for sure. And also The Jasmine Throne since it's the audiobook for it is due soon. But I think I'll live without the audiobook. But I would prefer to have the audiobook with me. And I still have the audiobook for The Reformatory. Which I have no idea when I'm gonna finish that one, honestly. I'm hoping it will be, uh... I'm hoping for it to be fairly soon, honestly. But also not too soon. We shall see. I don't know if I'll finish it this month. I might finish it next month. Who knows? But anyways, thank you all for watching this weekend video diary. Comment down below your thoughts, reactions, anything in regards to what's been going on here. Do any of y'all use Skillshare? If y'all do... What kind of classes y'all take or the learning paths as well. But if you made this far into the video, you don't have really much else to say anything. Just put down any emoji that gives you like a chill vibe. Whether it's like the, the sunglasses emoji, the emoji with the sunglasses face, or or like the relaxed emoji. I don't know, just choose any of those kind of emojis or any other emoji. It don't really matter to me. But anyways, thank you all again for coming on to this video and I hope to see you all in my next one. Bye.